We welcome you to today's program of, of Not Without Blood. We are so thankful that you joined us. Uh, we hope you will enjoy today's program because it's a program I've looked forward to and it, it, am excited about because I have some friends of mine that have uh, offered their time and have given their time to recording some music for Crossway Ministries that uh, you have probably seen on other programs. But we're just going to sit down and have a chat with uh, D.A. Ray, his daughter, Laura Lee Tucker, and talk a little bit about their ministry of song, uh, how they minister to p people through songs, and how a song can be so important to an individual's emotions, can speak to an individual the way they are, where they are in their life and a problem they may have and how a song can just be so great in ministering uh, to an individual. I know personally myself, I probably shed a tear and cry quicker on music uh, than I do from a preacher preaching. Uh, I don't know about many of you, but uh, the, the Word of God ministered through a song uh, can just meet many needs and can, as I say, can really bring a tear to my eye quicker uh, than most anything else. But without further ado, we're just going to have a, a family conversation and I would like to introduce to you Laura Lee Tucker and her father, uh, D.A. Ray. And, hey, uh, and D.A., uh, as we... Uh, Start out talking about music. Uh, how long have you had your uh, band, your gospel group of Crosswalk Bluegrass Gospel? Um, well, how long we had the band? We we started when uh, Laura Lee was eight years old. Um, we won't say how long ago that is. Well, it was. Uh, we just figured it up. It was 18 <laughs> years ago, uh, That's and, and That's she's fine. 26 now, and, and started a family of her own. But um, yeah, that's that's when it started. Uh, right. When she started playing music, we uh, we started playing in the nursing homes and churches and uh, social gatherings, and uh, that's when Crosswalk. Uh, was uh, that was the onset of Crosswalk? All right, and you've been ministering in in bluegrass gospel, or just gospel, or both. You know, southern gospel, uh, or just uh, you concentrate on bluegrass gospel now. Right. Um, well, like I said, we started just singing uh, in church hymns, um, uh, and, and then it's just evolved into. The bluegrass genre of uh, gospel music, and um, we've taken southern gospel music and and uh, and, and altered it uh, and set it to a format of uh, bluegrass string instruments, and um, it's appealed to us and it's appealed to others uh, in in bluegrass festivals and churches and what have you. So um, we've taken uh, a ca a country music, uh, in fact. Uh, we was talking about the song House of Gold that Hank Williams had written and um, it's just a, it's amazing that we've been doing that for for uh, you know 15 years and we'll go to a bluegrass festival in fact last this summer we went to a bluegrass festival over at Paint Rock and um, Estelle Forks Alabama and a little old man come up and said do you all know that song House <laughs> of Gold Right. And um, it was fortunately just, you did. Yeah, it was a joy to sing. Right, because that was a blessing to him. Yeah, Laura Lee, when you were eight, did you think you would still be doing this? Twenty years later, eighteen years later. I guess. I guess so. Um, I didn't. I didn't have in my head, you know, how long or how soon I would quit or how long I would play, but. Um, 
I just I knew when I picked the mandolin out in the music store what I wanted to do and I saw that it brought dad so so much joy when he played right. I wanted to be a part of that so right. I was really glad that he bought that and, for me. and you chose the instrument yeah um, I actually um, he said look around here Laura Lee and see which ones you like and I went straight to a mandolin and I said I really like this one dad and he said well, why do you like that one I said it's really cute <laughs> that's the whole thing that got it started uh, and uh, he said well um, here take it down and just play it and see if you you know like it and of, of course at that point I had no lessons but um, just plucked on it a little bit and he said well do you still like it as much as you did when you first saw it and I said yeah I really do like this it's so cute and he said well good because I just bought it for you it's yours great. so great did you take lessons Yes, eventually. I took lessons for three years with uh, Gerald Parker there at Forbes, which is now Emerald right. Indicator. Good, good. And have been singing ever since. Yes. You were eight. Uh, we're going to take a, a short break and feature Laura Lee on one of the songs that uh, she likes. Uh, and, and we want to do that right now. And this is a song called Everybody Wants to Go to Heaven. We know you will enjoy it. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Once upon a time there lived a man and his name was Hezekiah. He walked with God both day and night, but he didn't want to die. I know you enjoyed that song and, and we'll continue our discussion and interview with, uh, with D.A. Ray and his daughter uh, from the uh, Crosswalk Bluegrass Gospel Band. Uh, Laura Lee, when you sing that song and it ministers to people, you can obviously tell when you're singing to an audience that some people are really ministered by a certain song. How does that make you feel? 
It makes me feel great. Um, I think one of the major things that I love about that song is because it captures more youthfulness more so than any other song because, you know, everybody does want to go to heaven, but, right. you know, being young, you, you're not ready to go yet. You know, I've, I've got a little one at home. I want to see much more out of that. You know, I love God and I want to, you know, I want to go to heaven eventually, but not anywhere near now. Right. Um, but definitely something to look forward to, you know, after death. So It's like... Uh preacher was preaching you know he was talking about everybody wanting to go to heaven and a uh, little lady didn't raise her hand and and the preacher asked her said well how come you didn't raise your hand she said oh I thought you were getting up a busload now <laughs> so you know everybody wants to go exactly. but they got a life they want to fulfill and minister first right. uh, what are some of the experiences that you have had ministering to small groups, to larger groups on the stage, do people uh, request certain songs? Do you feel, even though you had planned a set of songs going to a concert based on the audience, do you change according to what you feel the audience may be uh, in tune to at that time? Absolutely, yeah. We several different times, uh, almost every single session that we do, um, there will be um, different songs put in the place of others, and that's perfectly fine. Um, when we get places and people rather hear a certain song and we know we only have a certain time limit that we have to make, we'll definitely switch in um, whatever the, the people want to hear, because, I mean, it's, it's not all about us, it's right. about, you know, what everybody else is interested in and what gets them you know in the mood um, but yeah definitely and and it's really really the best part is when they start singing along because they know the words and and you know as soon as you start singing one song just a big smile goes on their face because they love that song you know it just it's really fulfilling right. uh, what do you feel uh, w when you go to an audience uh, does it take you very long to get a feeling for the audience two three songs four or five songs can you tell at that point which direction you want to go or need to go usually within the first couple of songs um you know if, if the people really aren't feeling it then we'll probably stick with what we've wow. got um but then i say that and then other times you know, Dad will say, mm -mm, God just told me something else, and so we're going with this. I'm like, Dad, it wasn't on the list. <laughs> you know, but he pulls it out of his pocket, and we do it, and it's fine, and it worked out great because what we thought was, you know, just a bored group, bored with us, comes out, and it ends up being one of the best shows ever. <clears throat> and a lot of times that hinges on one song. Yeah, it just it can, takes that one song. It takes that one song can completely turn an audience around. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, DA, when, how did Crosswalk Bluegrass Gospel come about? How did the name come about? Uh, uh, just um, from Bible study. I, 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 I studied um, oh, several years ago. And in fact, uh, on our, on our t-shirts, uh, well, our first album, matter of fact, um, uh, was a step in faith it was the name of the the CD and there was a little stick man on there that was carrying a cross and um, it was uh, it, it it come from the scripture uh, pick up thy cross and 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 walk with me daily mm -hmm. and um, so uh, that's what we intended to do was uh, when we got when we got in this thing we started out singing for the Lord um, uh, we wanted to make Jesus happy. Um, we wanted to make people happy with uh, what they were hearing, and uh, we wanted to enjoy it ourselves. So um, it just uh, crosswalk was just a no-brainer. Is uh, uh, back uh, the internet had just just come on the scene. I know 18 years ago you think well it's been around more than that, but it yeah. had. But all the websites and stuff was getting the Bible study was coming up crosswalk. And um, and so I, I just I grabbed it out of the drawer, Crosswalk Bluegrass Gospel, and um, 
uh, it stuck. Uh, we had a website, uh, closed it down at the first of this month. Luke Howell uh, has opened us up a brand new website, www.crosswalkbluegrassgospel.com. Um, they can, the folks can go, uh, if you're listening, you can go and, uh, on the internet and uh, uh, read all about us. Uh, we'd love to hear right. from y'all right. um, and um, as much as y'all would like to hear from us. And while we're speaking of music, there's uh, two CDs that you can go online and order, either through their website or you can uh, contact us at the ministry and, and we will make sure we get the information to uh, DA and uh, his band. Uh, you've got one here, Crosswalk Bluegrass Gospel. I'm not normal anymore. Uh, you know, if you know God, you will not be what you were before. Amen. You will, if you don't have a change and people don't notice it, then you haven't met the Master. You, you've had an emotional experience, but if people cannot tell your change That's right. in your walk, in your talk and in your life then instead of having an emotional experience you need to have an experience where God really saved your soul mm -hmm. and then there's a, a another project here it's going to be worth it all either one of these are great you will hear cuts from these two projects uh, on various shows that we do and speaking of music right now we're going to cut away and do I have Laura Lee do a, another song for us called No Grave on the Hillside of Glory. We hope you enjoyed this.
hillsides of glory. On the hillsides of glory. There'll be no pain. Getting back to your music, uh, how would you, how do you see the band? Would would you like to sing uh, once a month in a concert? Would you like to sing every other week? Uh, having a, a child at home and a family, I know it puts restrictions on you, but uh, you know, how would you like to see the band keep developing? I would love to, to be able to sing more often. Um, I enjoy it. Um, just just as you said, though, with the family at home and working a 40-hour job myself um, on the side of that, um, it makes it hard to have that family time. Right. Um, so that's very, very important to me. And at this point, you know, until she can get a little bit older to where she can kind of fend for herself, <laughs> and uh, go around without me having to worry about what she's getting into. Um, you know, once it gets to that point, then it'll probably kick back up. But until then, um, you know, I, I'd kind of like to keep it um, a little bit slower right, right. now, just for family's <clears throat> sake. All right, as far as the band consists, you play mandolin, your father plays guitar, uh, rhythm guitar DA? Yeah. Uh, your mother? It's upright bass. Upright bass. And if any of you do not know what an upright bass is, that's one of these things about six feet tall, you know, you strum on that you wonder how they get it in the back of a truck even. But uh, her mother plays an upright bass. And, and she's very she's very backward. She did not want to participate in this. <laughs> she loves the Lord, but she did she, she just didn't just, want to just she just, just shy. Absolutely. So uh, um, the uh, and you also have a uh, we a always, banjo we, player. We always have a banjo picker. We've used uh, Weston Stewart. We've used uh, Chris uh, Slayton, um, Scotty, uh, Arnett. Scotty Arnett. We. We've used the little drinker boy a little, um, and uh, mm -hmm. this last time, well, and this, what y'all's uh, going to listen to um, on these, on what we recorded for this, uh, for uh, Crossway was, um, uh, was using uh, Danny Patterson, Digging Dan out of, out of Danville, and uh, uh, he does a good job on the banjo, he plays the fiddle, and uh, he, his boy, very musical family, and um, we appreciate him coming and filling in. We'd love to, we'd love to have a full-time banjo picker, but hey, it's just hard to keep one with all the other activities going on in people's lives, right. you know. Right. Uh, Da, we're going to talk a little bit on on the next program about some songs you have written. Uh, do you enjoy that part of the music? Oh, absolutely. I, I tell you, there's nothing more uh, bone bone rattling and and chilling to the spine to to have the Lord give you a song and you just can't write it fast enough. Right. You'll say, "Lord, s slow down! I, I just can't do it." You right. know, and um, so it, it's uh, oh yeah. I, I just I love studying the scriptures. I love uh, I love meeting, talking to people. As you can tell, I'm awful bashful. Right, uh, but um, you yeah. and your wife balance out each other quite <laughs> yeah, well. Absolutely, <laughs> and um, so I, I've I've always been able to make a friend. And uh, if you want friends, you got to be a friend. That's right. And um, so if you want a neighbor, you got to be a neighbor. And um, so it, it's uh, yeah, I enjoy the ministry. I love singing for the Lord, and uh, I love entertaining people. So um, they, they both work hand in hand. Laura Lee, when you are singing, 
whether you're singing lead or any of the songs that you are singing, do these songs relate to your testimony in any way? Uh, are you singing in some of the songs? Are you singing your testimony? Absolutely. Um, there's uh, there's several that actually hit home and um, that bring tears on several different occasions when we've been playing in front of people. Um, that's completely normal for me and him. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's in the genes or what, but yeah, definitely. Uh, you can you can just the the chorus or the lyrics to a song can just bring back a memory, you know. And, and Lord, I was there. I, I may not have written this song, but I know what that individual was going through. Absolutely. Right. And I, my viewpoints with music is, is the same um, as yours. Um, it can definitely touch you a lot faster um, a lot of the times than just someone, you know, preaching the it, word to it, you. It, 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 music is so personal to me. Uh, it, it, it just... It, it hits you where you've been, and you know somebody else has been there, Absolutely. and they had the God-given ability to put, you know, they may have been holding the pen, but God was still doing the writing. Right. Absolutely. And, and that, that's just a, a beautiful thing to me. We hope you have enjoyed today's conversation with uh, D.A. Ray, his, his daughter Laura Lee Tucker, as we've... Uh, talked a little bit about the crosswalk bluegrass gospel music uh, we hope you will look on the website uh, again write down their web address go to their website write down their telephone number and if you uh, like it uh, you know give us a call give us a, a note drop us a line uh, look at it order one of their projects where you can have it uh, with you at all times we thank you for being with us, and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow. God bless. We invite you to join us each and every study to grow in the knowledge of the finished work of Christ. That number is 256-227-5777.